example, hey, Marco. One, hey, what's up, buddy? One, you have a hey, van that's enclosed. Hold on, bro. Hold on. I'm talking. I, I hope right. you got that C36. I want to make sure. Well, I I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to I want to answer. Think I want to answer. Saying. I want to answer Jane. I want to answer Jane's questions. Just remember, I am a commercial pilot. I do fly regularly. I am qualified. I know oh, my, my shit. All right. So, so did you see so curvature you, up there? Yes, you can. Thirty-six. Do you see it? Hey, ask. No, you can't. Ask. No, you can't. Ask Jay. Ask Jay. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Hey, 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 Jay. Your own model says that you can't. Sorry, Jay. Jay. Sorry. Were you trying to ask me a question? So that's a lie, Marco. Jay, I can see. Your own model says that you can't. Oh, fuck. I don't think we've spoken before. Hey, I don't think we we so I, I don't like your yeah. tone. Can we yeah, no, it it's a little sharp. Can so I just have down? to ask. Um, first, before we get started, do you support the scientific method that the things that were discussed need to be observable, repeatable, duplicatable, demonstrable, teachable? One hundred percent agree with that. And we, okay. And we um, do. My next question for you, um, with the claim that the globe is a twenty-four thousand nine hundred and one mile ball, um, <laughs> how much? How much does that curve? Get my uh, finger stuck in this damn eraser. Fuck. Uh, I didn't quite catch the last second. There, um, it, with the claim of the Earth being a twenty-four thousand nine hundred and one mile ball, I just want to make sure that we're on the same page with the geometrics. How much does the Earth curve per mile? Uh, one eight. Sorry, the eight inches per mile squared is accurate to a point, but it is an approximation past about a hundred miles. Okay, that's uh, that's incorrect. Well, so, it isn't incorrect because. Um, no, it is. I, I didn't just it's absolutely miles. incorrect. Hey, hey, Jane, Jane, I didn't you're not going to tell me anything once you tell Jane. me it's incorrect. I didn't just incorrect. Keep in bro, when you're losing an argument. I didn't just put my... I didn't just put my... Jay, Jay, Jay. Come on, Jay, 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 Jay. Marco, Marco, Marco. You know that I'm here to put my... I'll let you... Go ahead and damage yourself so I can go in. Go damage ahead. Damage myself. I didn't just yeah, small square. Uh, if you look at the equation, oh the so parabolic aggressive. equation. Is it a parabolic, uh, parabolic equation? Mm -hmm. If we're talking about spheres, we're not talking about parabolas now, are we? Y yes, we are. Actually. Actually. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're about the no, we're not. Listen, I'm sorry, Marco. I don't know if you have the integrity to be up here because no, I no. understand what they're about. No, no, I understand okay. how to use them. Okay. So let me, let, me go ahead, let me go ahead and tell you something really quick before we go any further with this because I'm having an issue having this discussion with you. First and foremost, I understand what a parabolic equation is. Um, I actually understand four of them to measure a 24,901 mile ball. And allow me to tell you something real quick. Cord length is 100% accurate all the way up to the diameter. It's not an approximation and it's parabolic at the same time. So, so, before we go any further, I understand the convexity of a 24,901 mile ball, and I understand the distance and the range of each one of these formulas. So, I will tell you this. When we contrast 8 inches per mile squared directly up to cord length, it's actually, actually, a lot of people don't know this, but it's actually good up to 7,900 miles. No, it's not. The public's not yes, going to see curvature up there, guys. Hey, I, okay, Jane, I, 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 I let you finish. I let you finish. I let you finish. I let you finish. Jay, I do this on a regular basis. No, 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 Jay. I fly all the time for my job. I gave you the time. I gave you the time. I gave you the time. This is the best one yet. This is like the best line. I gave you the time. I gave you the time to speak. But you're wrong, so I don't need to think I gave you the time to give you the time. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. He's like, I don't know where you're He's aggressive as hell, but let him get at least a word out about this. Go ahead, Mark. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna sit and wait until someone actually lets me speak what I have to speak. I just you. I'm the host. 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 That's all right. the fuck right. you're doing. You're not right. even Come on, we'll have a word. Now, this time, to, to bury himself. Go ahead. Go ahead, Marco. Go for it. Keep talking, Marco. When, when we get to 12,000 feet, I see longitudinal drop. So I see further and more so than what you would expect on a flat plane. When I get to 36,000 feet and above, which I do on a regular basis, I see lateral curvature. 
But only small, before we go only any a small further, amount, only a small amount. But I see lateral curvature. Why okay. Do I see before lateral, we go why any why, further, why do I Marco, see lateral? One of my stipulations. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Changing the subject. You're changing the subject, my man. Let me finish my point. I don't know if I can. Let me finish my subject. Let me finish my point. Go for it. I just need to. I just I'm need to be correct before we go too far. That's far. Getting off the that's far. In a horizon due to perspective, right? Because what happens? Hold on, when you hold on. This is what I'm saying. This is exactly why I wanted to stop you, Marco. No, don't disrespect Jay, but we're actually getting off of the two yeah. questions that I asked you to start with in the first place. I number one, I asked, can, are we going to be participating in the scientific method, right? Number Why two, number two, we need to agree to agree on the geometrics of this actual object that we're talking about and i'm sorry my man but you're absolutely 100 percent wrong you're not arguing with no, gene techman right now you're not no. arguing with gene techman you're arguing with mathematics and i'm going to show you this really quick i have mathematics to. I have to. show me show me the fact really show me so one second marco don't get triggered 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 don't why do you have, I have arc length, four different, right? Why do you have, this is a formula that can be used. This is horizontal length. So this is peak to peak. This is chord length. And it's also being contrasted against 8 inches per mile squared. Now, moving forward, we were able to see the amount of error, specifically in feet. And now we're able to see the amount of error in the percentage in the contrast. So this is a very huge mistake. And I'll, I will, I'll put you on the spot right now, Marco. I already know you got your information from Flat Earth WS because it's the only source on the Internet that says it's only usable up to 100 miles. Now, take a quick moment because what I have here is just simply a spreadsheet of the drop per, per mile. Right. We got the miles here. So I just want you to see how accurate these are. If I'm loading here properly, I apologize. Sure, sure. So let's just say let's just say 20, 20 miles, right? I want to go make so, yeah, 26, 26. feet of drop. Twenty six. Give me a second. Sorry, I gotta go make a cube drop, or that's, Google that's Doc. universal all the way across the board, right? Now this is what I really want to see. Is the amount of feet error, right? We're in the negative, right? That's a negative. So when when do we finally get to the point of DV uh, where the parabolic curve meets the circular curve? It's not it's not even until we get past. Let's see where are we at here. I have one question positive. for you. We finally go positive. I gotta at go get a Google Docs number one. Cube, so your claim is completely wrong. Give me a second. Right? You said because it's only usable up to 100 miles. So this is something that you don't know that a 24,901 mile ball actually curves at 7.98 inches. So we're actually giving you 0 0.2, um, 0.02 of an inch. So we're actually starting the math off in the globe favor. It's in the globe you know, favor all the way up to 243 miles, my man. So your right, source Jay, is wrong, Jay. number one. And then the last thing I wanted to show you Land was how this, looks, how this looks on paper, right? Uh, and so back to this Google Doc. So this is going to be shit, fucking desk, right? So now I have a, a chart here that shows arc length, horizontal length, peak to peak, chord length, and just per mile square plotted on the same graph, the parabolic graph that we have here. This is 200 miles, this is 500 miles. You don't even see deviation. 750 miles, you barely see deviation. So to contrast, we have a thousand miles here. And then it's not even until we get up to 2,000 miles that we start to see deviation with the rest of the formulas, right? About 2,000 miles. Now, this is the hitter, right? This is the hitter right here. Chord length is green. Do you see a green line there? Is there a green line? There's not. You know why? Because chord length is right underneath. It's right underneath 8 inches per mile squared. So chord length, which is not an approximation, it's 100% accurate all the way up to the diameter. You can't tell the difference between that yeah, chord length up, up past 7,000 miles. So your 100 miles is completely off. I don't know if we're ready to have this conversation yet. I think you need to do a little bit more research and come back to the table. It looks like he's laying it out, and you guys are just sitting there talking to yourselves about it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So, so again, if we're talking 100 miles, there, there I guys. Know, there you goes, haven't yeah. approached this with integrity there goes, yet. There goes, really there, there goes. There You're goes. actually just on this live to I, try to I, put up an I, argument. Those two actually contrast like a scientific mind with integrity. So I think you, I think you probably need to do a little research and come back in a moment. So your ball curves at 8 inches per mile squared. We need right? temperature. So as you're up there flying, and what happens again now? Just told you. Yeah, Charles, your deflection sounds like it gave up. 
Like you can see it, the glow. I I did meet you once because you were going off. No, and you were, you were doing the tour. I I had my I had my mic open and oh someone muted me again. The flag pin tactics. Come on. Okay, so acknowledge the the, the context now. With the math, he he brought the math, he brought the charts, he brought everything that you need in this thousands of miles in every direction. Go ahead, Marco. Your your turn to three thousand. Can't tell the difference. Go ahead, Marco. Adjust this. Marco, Marco, you you got the big screen now, bud. You explain it. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Sorry, my my point that I'm making. Go ahead. Can acknowledge the context of the subject matter. You guys are gonna have to concede, Globes. Oh, at least, at least, come to the agreement that we understand. Okay, no, 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 I'm still waiting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, y'all. I want to hear Marco address this. He said 100 miles. He said it fails after that. I want to hear him address roughly, everything. Roughly, that he said. Marco, roughly. instead of saying I'm just waiting for someone else, Yo, to Jay, just want to talk, really? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All good. The Earth does drop as an approximation at eight inches per mile squared. We can all agree on that. Yes, we can. Yep. Yeah. But eight inches per mile square is a full okay. time parabolic yeah. equation. Eight inches per mile square is considered a parabolic equation. Correct. You're using, you're using the wrong equation for what you're looking for. Math That's not nice. true. That's not true. true. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull it up for you and give you another math lesson, but give me a minute. I'll show you some more information because I know you're looking for uh, the cosine equation in contrast, right? No, I'm actually looking for the, tan uh, for the drop on the tangent. So anyway, what is, what is the equation then? What's that, the equation? That's what I just showed Bro, you. I want to hear him address this 100 miles me, where it fails me, after me, that. Me, that's what I want to hear him say. Because Gene just laid out all the math. He bought the yeah, charts. Yeah. He bought everything for him. So I want to hear Marco's. Did he bring the pie chart? Everything that Gene said. And I know y'all want to talk over it. Marco, please. I need your reply before we get contrasting. This is how I like to start off my con conversations. First and foremost, we need to understand that we use the scientific method and we need to agree on the dimensions of the shape of the object we're going to discuss. I'm scientific still waiting. Method, dimensions. That's all we need to know. That way I understand that we're on the same page of integrity, science, and the actual object that we're going to speak about. Parabolic equations are used to measure circles and curved planes. That's what they're actually used for directly. Spheres, circles, and curved planes. Mm -hmm. That's directly what they're used to measure. I just want to make sure we're on the same page to understand what a parabolic equation is. I know exactly what a par I know exactly what a parabolic equation is, but you're using the wrong method for the equation that you're you're using. Mm. It's the wrong equation. I thought I, I just showed you four other I, formulas. The, 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 fact I thought I four, four, the fact that you're using four formulas, incorrect formulas, or what you're actually what you're actually trying to measure will give what you makes the them incorrect the fact is, is that you're using a parabolic equation you're using a parabolic equation to determine tangent and cosines and everything else that comes in oh wow can, can we just have the equation all right i was gonna say i have, I have more information from the mathematician i can science that if you'd like to watch Go for you know, he, just, Go for he, Go for he breaks down the math and Go for it's not gene tech man you're not arguing with me you're actually arguing with trigonometry geometry and um, you don't agree with it. It's kind of strange, but well, 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 he's he's a I can find that. He's the best in the world when they don't agree with and, their and own he's a globe believer like, too. He's a, he's a globe believing yeah. scientist who actually just I enjoy him because he <laughs> practices he his scientific equation? integrity. Do you have an equation you'd like to yeah, share with us? Yeah, you, that's exactly what you're contrasting is that these globers can't have integrity because they can't even they can't even agree with their own model. This one on the cord length. Let's imagine that the distance here, uh, the distance given is this cord length I've called C. I have heard people say, oh yes, but you have to use cord length. Uh, and so because of that, let's do one with cord length. The cord, as I showed before, is just 2R sine of alpha over 2. So if we had alpha, then we could get the cord length. But no, this time we have the cord length and we have to get alpha. So we'll just rearrange to get uh, everything except for the alpha over there. And then we're going to need an arc sine, an inverse sine, to strip that away. And we will now have alpha. There we go. We solved for alpha, as we did with all of the other versions, based on the given values that, that we had. So now we have alpha. We will just plug it into the same equation as before, plug that straight in, and we get this lovely equation that uh, is different than anything we've seen before. And that gives us this lovely equation here. 
So there you have it. I have now derived four different versions of the drop equation, and it depends on what you consider the input distance to be. Okay, so that's it for the math. Let's now hit to the punchline. Finally, the big, the big reveal. Um, how do these equations compare to the eight inches per mile squared estimate? I've got the distances in miles because the, the equation is in inches and miles. So I'll have the distances in miles here and all of the drop distances I have written in feet. Don't get confused. Even though it says inches here, inches are going to get uh, pretty big as we go out into the distance. So I chose to show it in feet. If you're one mile away, the eight inches per mile squared will give you eight inches. And that comes out to you have two thirds of a foot. So that's, that's that. How does that compare to our actual values? Here's the actual amount of drop distance according to these different equations. And we can see that's super close. I mean, that's that's in, within tiny fractions of a distance. And so at one mile is fine. How far? Let's go five miles. We're about five miles. Um, and we'll see these are the real world numbers. And here's the approximation. That's still pretty darn good. It's, you know, a hundredth of a foot is how far that, off that is. At 10 miles, the drop is still pretty good. Look at that. So it holds out to 10 miles. So that's good. But what if we're doing like a longer observation? We're going to go out further. Um, let's go out to 50 miles. So out of 50 miles, um, the actual value is there. And depending on which method you use, um, it, it's, you know, it's off by about a foot. Or not even a foot, half a foot. From, from this one, from based on arc length, which is my favorite, uh, I'm off by like half a foot. I'm off half a foot. Over 50 miles. I'm going to say that's a pretty good estimate. If, you, if 50 miles away, you're only off by half a foot, that's pretty good. I, I'll accept that. Um, okay, well, let's push it now. Let's push it out to 100 miles. Surely this approximation is no good at 100 miles. Here we go. Um, the actual value is 6668 feet. And the estimated value is 6667 feet. We are now off by, oh my gosh, it's over a foot. It's over a foot wrong at 100 miles. At 100 miles, it's not by a foot. That is a darn good estimate. So, um, so yeah, if somebody is telling you that estimate only holds over short distances, I'm um, going to have to give you a, a, a bit of a pause on that. That estimate is shockingly good. Okay, but that's, that's only 100 miles. Let's go nuts. Let's just go crazy. Let's take it out to 1,000 miles. At 1,000 miles, here's our estimate based on 8 inches per mile squared. And here are our actual values, depending on how we sliced it. Um, and uh, I think you'll find that's still pretty decent. How decent is it? I made a, I made a little chart. Let's come into that now. And I will show a graph of what we found as well as percent errors. Now. So here is a Google spreadsheet, and I will make this publicly available to anybody who uh, wants to look at it. I'll put it down in the description. Um, and you can check it out and see if I've made any kind of mistakes in here uh, and check my work. So here I have those, uh, those four different calculation methods, and you can see the equations uh, right there. And here I have the 8 inches per mile squared estimate. Notice uh, the division by 12, so this is in feet. All of these are in feet. Uh, in this column, column G, I am showing the, the error, the amount of difference between S6 and B6. So I'm comparing against arc length, my chosen method. If you think you want to use some, one of these others, I think it's better to use the peak-to-peak -peak version or the result version, then you, you have to change that. Um, and then in the last column, I have the error expressed as a percent. And I, yeah, like this division by zero, there's no error here. Uh, or rather, this, the value is zero. Oh, as a percent. So th this means 0.03%. And a negative number will mean that the value is low. So um, that's just what that means. So uh, this tells you how good approximately your approximation is as a percentile value. So uh, next up, over here on the right, I've made us a nice little curve that shows a comparison of these five different methods of estimating the amount of drop. And we'll see our eight inches per mile squared sitting right in here in between the peak to peak version and the horizontal length version on the extreme ends there. And all the way out to a thousand miles, this is a pretty good approximation. Um, okay, but yeah, a thousand miles, maybe that's not far enough. But let's push it. Let's see what happens if we just go all out. And this is what we get. Interesting thing for me here is that the horizontal length method and the arc length method diverge by more than the arc length method does against the 8 inches per mile squared method. The takeaway here that was absolutely eye-opening for me is that the 8 inches per mile squared estimate is really, really good. How good is it? Uh, how good is it? So I might want to, to ask the question, uh, how far out do you have to go before your error becomes 1%? 
Like at this point, we're at fractions of a percent of error. How far out can we go and still stay under 1%? So let's scroll down as the numbers increase to right here. The first time the number reaches a 1% error is at a distance of 1,400 miles. So this 8 inches per mile squared approximation is good to within 1% accuracy out to 1,300 miles and beyond. So that may sound a bit shocking, but there you go. That's the actual numbers. Um, and I invite you to check it yourself and see if that is it. So you, you, download, you downloaded that, um, that Google... Uh, drive or someone else's spreadsheet to put up on here. Can you put in 21,000 uh, 21, miles? Oh, sorry. What is it? 10,000 miles? We wouldn't Hold apply on. it in that distance Do it. at all Do it. whatsoever. Do it. That's actually um, a zero application distance. We wouldn't apply that to anything in the real world. We would be measuring at that distance in one measurement. So in order for us to measure long distances, just like putting a fence together, we would start one peg at a time. So there would be a range that we would use to make that measure within the when it's actual accurate usability, which I'll remind you again, it is there is no error it's actually in the globe favor up to 243 miles so you're probably a smart man you know how to fly a plane if i were to try to figure this out and build legos without having any error i would probably stop at about 243 miles and then make another measurement and i'd probably make about five or six measurements if i were going to measure something about a thousand miles that makes sense to me okay just just for shits and gigs mm -hmm. just to humor me put mm -hmm. in eleven thousand miles into we, your, we, into we your, would have no error. no 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 no, no. No, please That's put 11,000 miles. When you're asking, Marco, exactly what about the 100 mile? What about your 100 mile asking, claim, Marco? It's asking for me to do it, maybe, maybe let's do it 100,000 miles, right? Gene, 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 but just make him address, before you do any of his other requests, make him address his initial claim that it fails after 100 miles. Was he, yeah, okay. were you correct, Marco? Please address that in, in full faith and I've honesty. I've seen the numbers. I've seen the numbers. Now I can see that the approximation is pretty good out to about 1,400 miles. Okay, so you, so you were right. incorrect in your claim and your belief. That's fine. That's fine. But can we we appreciate that. Can you now please put in ten thousand miles? It's it's not even Don't on care. this. You asked me. Listen, you asked bro. me. Listen, you asked shut me. up for a second because now uh, you're being rude. I'm going to answer you. You asked me ten thousand miles. My answer is. It's not even on this spreadsheet because it's a stupid number to even ask. Right it's beyond, it's right beyond right. usability That's of parabolic right. equations. Put it in. Right? Right. Put it in. This is, this is not going to work, Marco. This is another put misunderstanding. Put it in. Put it right? in. Put it this in. is another misunderstanding. Please Marco, put it in. Let me, let me teach you a little bit of math. Let me teach you a little bit of math, buddy. Listen. You went from 100 miles to 10,000 miles when it fails. Ain't that funny? Another thing, too, That's not moving the goalpost. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Marco, listen, Marco. You went from 100 miles to 10,000 miles, Marco? Marco, let me, let me teach you some math. When you use parabolic equations, even cord length, cord length is 100% accurate. You can't measure past the diameter. That's how parabolic equations work because it, once you go past the diameter, it's looping back around. 9, so what you, do, what you do is you just mirror, you mirror... The, uh, the equation. No, Marco, listen to me, buddy. So you're not going to do it? Buddy. You're not going to do it? There, it's going to fail, no Marco. It's, it's going to fail. Yeah, it's, it's a parabola. It's one application. It's one measurement. You would never apply that in any type of science at all. You wouldn't build a house like that. Right, you would know where the where, error is where, of the range, and then you would say, "Okay, we have to reposition this movement." Like if I were to make a pool in my front yard, right, and say I wanted it to be twelve feet around, I, I would be measuring one side. It would be a parabolic curve to match the other quarters of that of that circle, right? And if I really wanted to be hyper accurate, then I would break it down from four measurements to eight measurements to sixteen measurements. Oh. All I'm going to ask you to do is humor me, just for shits and gigs. Buddy. Put in nine... No, no, listen, no. I'll say it again. It ma... Listen, buddy. It maxes out at 7,000 because anything else is ridiculously stupid to ask. It's like asking for uh, a 100,000 um, 100, distance on a 24,901 mile ball, right? You're so extreme and don't know it that you're out of the yeah. box of even asking what you're asking. It's not even... I've just asked you, I've asked you for half the radius, which is... 
8,500 miles. That's I'm not the application, not. Marco. That's not. If, I, if we made the claim that eight inches per mile squared worked for 24,000 miles, then you can say, well, show me a 10,000 miles. Yeah, We're right. not making that claim. You are trying to yeah. straw man to get away right. from your initial claim, although you were honest about that, but you cannot right. change the parameters of what we're talking about because we are teaching you about its current application, and Gene just laid it down so Okay, accurately. so... That's so, it. Acknowledge that you had a misbelief. Ice. We showed you the real Max. map, and you have to concede that point. That's it. I can't have conversations with globe believers if you can't even substantiate your own globe. Again. Again. I won't. I'll make sure to share a clip of the pilot admitting that the curvature is more than he thought it was. So, so I, this is all I'm saying. And thank you, Sacred, for that. I, this yeah. is why I'm, I stand by this. If we That's can't cool. agree on That's the scientific cool. method or the That's dimensions cool. of the Earth, then we're point. not going to have the conversation. But that's Come fine, there, Jane. That's Come fine, Jane. We'll that's fine, right? Jane. You show me the uh, you show me the numbers. You show me the yeah, numbers. Cool. Didn't, didn't, have, have, a, didn't, have, a didn't right? have a problem with it. Didn't have a problem with it. Didn't have a problem with it. Marco, when when you look out of your plane when you're up in the air, where's the horizon? In the distance, and then he flies over to it and realizes it's still flat. <laughs> it comes to eye level. You're not looking down. No. And then I he know. flies over to it, and all that land that he flew over was flat underneath the plane, right? But yeah, somewhere, like the somewhere, Rocky Mountain, dip Kansas. Is happening. somewhere, <laughs> dip is happening, right? When, when, when do you have to? When do you have to look down to see it? Yeah. Well, why do you think you can see the Rocky Mountains from Kansas, commercial pilot? I haven't got a clue why you can see the Rocky Mountains from Kansas. I don't fly. Okay, I don't fly in the states. Where's the horizon? As you're, flying, as you're flying your plane, where's the horizon? Don't waste any more time. Visit the links above now and order my book 16 Emergency Landings Proving Flat Earth. Visit my online store now and order the new enhanced Gleason's Flat Earth Map. This map used to be in every school and library in the nation before NASA was created in 1958, when the maps were ordered removed. Have your Gleason's Map hanging on the wall in your house, where no government can take it down. Here you see it hanging on a wall in the house of the late Charles K. Johnson. Here is a quote from the book 1984 by George Orwell. Every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and street building has been renamed. Every date has been altered. And the process is continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Order your map now.